they played the Monster Mash. The Monster Mash. All right, welcome back to Resident Evil. Real quick in between the last part, I went and deposited that crest we had. I also went back into the plant room, picked up an herb, and healed myself back to perfect health. And I've also gone and deposited the pistol and the clip in the chest for now. Uh, I have on me the, the two keys we have, the shield key and the armor key. And we're just going to kind of be using all the instances we can use these keys. As many as I can anyway. So yeah, it's been a little bit since I last recorded. Here we go, using the armor key on this door. And our goal right now is of course to get the two remaining crests so we can unlock that last gate. Alright. <laughs> Looks like we got a reindeer. This is, some, this is some Evil Dead type stuff. I think it's going to come to life and start laughing at us. Well, anyway, over here, what do we have? We have a red herb in that corner. I don't really have inventory space. I, I am going to pick this up here. This is a lighter. A certain key item, which... I might just be thinking the remake, but that might be in a different location if you're playing as Jill. A lot of stuff is different if you're playing as Jill. I, again, I'm going to have to do an extra part at some point. We've got the lighter. Otherwise, we can go in this room on this side of the deer. Oh, looks like we're in a bit of a researcher's lab. Here in the desk, we have the researcher's will. My dear Alma. Alma? Fear? The fact that you've received this letter is both a joy and a sadness for me. I could not even talk to you because of that guy in the sunglasses. Be calm and read this. I think I've told you to move to a pharmaceutical company's lab. They headhunted me. There was an accident in the lab, and the virus we were studying escaped. Colleagues are infected, and the virus are dead. To be accurate, they become the living dead, blah, blah, blah. Okay, a researcher telling about the infection happening. Goodbye, forever and yours. Martin Crackhorn, or Cockhorn, whatever it was. Dude got infected, and, and is writing to his beloved about what was happening there. I got a fish tank here that's too heavy to move. That's why we gotta come over here. And uh, someone has searched here already. Yeah, they broke open the glass. There's a switch. We'll go ahead and push that. It looked like a light switch for the bugs there, but actually it's draining the fish tank. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, well, now we can push it. We're gonna move it out here. And we can now move this out of the way. And all this in this room is to get some shotgun shells in this little drawer. But I'll take it. We could always use more shotgun shells, right? And then also I believe there's ink ribbons here in the professor's research coat. I'm not gonna take those, because again, inventory is a little... And we don't have much space, sadly. And we still have an ink ribbon in the chest, which... I oh, also, I saved in between parts right before starting this one, so I wanted to make sure. Just in case we lose some progress here, because there's a bit of a tough part coming up here. Actually, you know what? I want to go back down the hall. We still don't have the helmet key, which is the, uh, the door on the other side of this room. So we still can't progress further this way, and there's a few other rooms, I think, that need the helmet key, like on the opposite side of the second floor. But what we can do in here, now that we have the lighter is start a fire. Oh, no. can't use that here. Come on, I gotta get in the perfect position. There we go. And somehow starting this fire etches a map into that piece of paper. I don't know how that works. Well, anyway, it's about damn time we got the second floor map. We got the first floor map, like, in the first room we explored in the first part. But yeah, door on the side over here needs the helmet key. I'll double check just to be sure. Uh, yep, helmet key. And on the west side of the second floor there, we need either the passcode for that door or the helmet key for that room. So all that's really left is the stuff back out on this side of the second floor, around this hallway. So let's go back out to this hallway. We did clear it out, after all. Out here, both this door here and the door over here are unlocked with the armor key. I'm gonna do unlock them both first, just to get the armor key out of our inventory, because that's it for the armor key. Very useful, had a lot of uses, but it is done now. And I'm gonna go in this door first. Both of these rooms are to get more crests and, and unlock that big gate we've had in our path, but we're doing this one first. I think it takes priority. Coming through here, have some herbs. Oh, uh, he didn't make it, okay. It's uh, Richard from Bravo Team. He's dead. Now this is a moment that can change depending on how you play the game. If you come here quick enough, Richard will be alive. He'll be alive, he'll talk to you, he'll let you know that he's been like poisoned or injured or whatever. And you gotta go get a cure for him, help him out. Although by the time you make it back he dies anyway, and you don't get any item for it. So honestly it's just a big waste of time. And so I'm not super upset that I didn't come here fast enough and that Richard died. Doesn't really mean much in the long run. Uh, the one thing though is that unfortunately that means we don't get this dialogue exchange. Chris, this house is too dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! 
you know, I'm gonna be honest, I think that's my favorite dialogue exchange in the game, so I am kind of sad I missed out on that in the playthrough. All right, Future Jockey here with a quick correction. I was wrong. It's not based on how quickly you get here. It's based on if you get there before you meet Rebecca, because then this becomes the first time you actually meet Rebecca. You have to go back to that room where you initially meet her to get the serum. Richard still dies anyway, so again, nothing is accomplished. He does give you an item. I was wrong about that as well. But you get this item very soon later anyway. In fact, I get it next part, so it's really no sweat whatsoever. And you really have to go out of your way to avoid meeting Rebecca just to get to this point. You can get here pretty quickly, you know, if you if you do your path right. Pardon me, sir. If you do your path right, you know, you can really quick get the chemical, go for the plant, get the armor key, and then rush to this part of the second floor. Try to save Richard. Again, you can't really save Richard. There's no better ending where Richard lives. He's doomed. <laughs> oh, we can push this out of the way. There you go, Chris. <laughs> this is the silliest moment. There's, It's too dark to see anything, Chris, really. You really can't just, like, reach in there. You can't see what you're doing in here. Well, eh. this is another use of the lighter, so I'm glad I picked that up here. I'm gonna use the lighter and the candle. And only now does Chris feel the confidence. And there's a small bit of light coming in from the candlestick I lit over there. Now I can pick up these shells with confidence. But I am happy to get more shells, after all. We're doing pretty well on those. Also in this drawer here we have something, I believe. Uh, it's Clip. We don't have our pistol on us, but I think we'll be fine on inventory space, so I am going to pick that up. We'll get it back to the pistol eventually. And, you know, combine it with our current clip we have in the chest. That's all that's down here. Look at that bloody handprint on the wall. I love that detail. And the fact that it's there in every angle, you can tell, like, the designers who are making these kind of backgrounds, really, they had a cohesive vision for this mansion, and you gotta appreciate it. Here we're going to use the shield key. It's the first time we finally use the damn thing. Yeah, it's about time too, and it's immediately useless. Well, talk about a situational item, and we had to do so much for it. We had to get Rebecca playing the Moonlight Sonata perfectly, go into the secret chamber, exchange the emblems, grab the key, bring it here, and then it's just to get through one door. This door better be damn worth it. <laughs> There's a barn door, neat. Contrast the shield key there with the damn armor key, which we use all over the place. Uh-oh. Hi. How's it going, Mr. Snake? You're looking lovely, my friend. Uh, uh, uh. Run, Chris! Who? He lunged for me. Hurry over here. And here we have... It's the crest. The moon crest. We take the moon crest. Damn right I will. Let's grab that. And let's get the hell out of here. I mean, we can fight him if we so choose. I don't think there's any reason to. Ah, my foot! He bit me. I'm gonna grab these shotgun shells. Ooh, as you can tell, he poisoned us. Ow! He bit me again! Run, Chris! Hurry! Yeah, yeah like I said, you can fight him. There's not really any reason to. Like, y y your main goal is just getting the crest and getting the hell out of there. Go on, Chris. Uh-oh. Chris, you doing alright? Ooh. I think that poison's getting to him. Ooh. Chris! Am I poisoned? Yeah. Give me serum. Well, you're gonna be so demanding, Chris. Alright, so in a situation that would have been similar to if Richard was alive still, uh, Chris is now poisoned and needs the serum as quickly as he can get it. And this is a moment that kind of blew me away when I first played this game. We're now playing as Rebecca. We got that goal, we got to get to the chest room where we first met her, that's where the serum's at. And yeah, we're running about as her, look at this. We got our own gun. Nice. This is a good opportunity, by the way, to clear out a couple of zombies with her gun, since it's not like that's part of Chris's inventory, so... It's not really anything lost. Clear out some of the path, you know? Yeah, it's cool that we're running around as Rebecca. I didn't know much about Rebecca before playing this game initially, but, you know, I came to really like her in this game. I mean, everyone knows about Chris, everyone knows about Jill, and, and Wesker, and, and Nemesis, all those iconic characters. I feel like Rebecca doesn't get talked about enough. I mean, people typically know her as the protagonist of Resident Evil Zero, which I'll get around to at some point, but she plays a pretty major role in this game, you know? Well, anyway, we're gonna take this path. This room is still filled with zombies. We're gonna clear out... Maybe at least a couple of these guys. Going in, Rebecca. Uh, hi. Oh, bam. 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 Oh, that guy's on the ground now. Oh, that one's still alive. Never mind, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, that one was already dead. I have four bullets. That's not nearly enough to take this guy out. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Yep, nope. Ooh, we dodged a spit. 
Well, at least we got a couple of them. And uh, yeah, we gotta head back down to the chest room. Are you, Rebecca? Chris is counting on us. There we are. And here. And there we are, the serum. We can pick that up. We can't go in the chest, <laughs> I'm almost certain. Yeah, no, we can't go in the chest. Maybe we can pick up some items, and I think Rebecca just then, like, gives them to Chris. Or maybe we can't pick up items, I don't know. Uh, the point is, Rebecca's definitely a temporary character. It's not like you're... It's not like this is the second half where you play as Rebecca. No, no, no. It's just kind of a, a small thing. Oh, Zombie's gonna be back on his feet over here, isn't he? Yeah, give him the jukes, Rebecca. Give him the jukes! Let's go! Ha <laughs> ha Alright, now we gotta hurry back to Chris. Pardon me, Richard. <laughs> He's just lying there dead. Man, poor Richard. He was in so much pain. Ouch. We made it here. Uh-oh. Did he not make it? Well, surely enough, he's back on his feet. All right? Nice job, Rebecca. You got the serum in time. What happened? You were bitten by a poisonous snake. Are you okay? How does she know? She wouldn't even go in there. My head is killing me. I think you will be alright because I gave you a shot. But please be careful. Mm -hmm. You saved my life. I owe you one. You sure as hell do, Chris. You definitely do. Well, yeah, we're back in control of Chris now. We got our inventory. Looks like we took a little damage from the the snake biting us. I'm glad I could help. Hey, you got it, Rebecca. Well, that's all that we needed to do over here was to get the moon crest. Talk about a big journey to get that moon crest. I mean, remember the was it the star crest where we just had to do a little puzzle with the paintings in front of the crows? I'm gonna take this green herb and immediately use it just to top off on health. I might as well. That's that's pretty much what these herbs are here for, is to heal up after the snake fight. I say fight, and yet yeah, we spent the whole thing running away. Alright, going down over here. We all already unlocked this door. I'm just gonna go in now. This is where the last crest remains. And this is another example. It's much easier crest to get than <laughs> the, you know, the, the moon one we took in there. It's like, oh, there's a vent on the ground and there's these things we can push. Gee, I wonder what we gotta do. There's another one up there. You know, I, admittedly though, it, it does seem kind of puzzling. You may think immediately to push the statue onto the button on the floor there, because it's a square-shaped hole and everything. And the fact that it's on the floor, right? Maybe it's like a pressure-plated button. But no, I don't know why they put the button on the floor here, but <laughs> we just gotta get those statues on the air ducts to prevent poison from spewing out when we push this switch. So we open that up. I do like this room though, all these knight armors and weapons along. And this is where we can get ourselves the sun crest. Well, that's it. We got all the crests. We got all the crests we need. I'm real quick going to go back to the chest room. I'm going to put away the lighter and combine our clips. And I'll put the clips back in the chest. I still don't think I need to go run around with a pistol. I mean, I don't really have the inventory space for it, you know? And granted, I will once I put the crests away. But still, like, two inventory slots is not enough. I want at least three free spots open at most times. Which inherently means I can't really carry on two weapons, because then we need two weapons and then two ammo types. That's most of our inventory right there. Part of me is starting to regret playing as Chris, just for things like this, but... Oh well. It's too late now. We still have a small key in there, our Beretta, and we have some mixed herbs, ink ribbon. We're never gonna be using the combat knife again. It's like, kinda useful early on, just for finishing off a couple of zombies, maybe. Or getting them on the ground without having to use a bullet. Like, that's it, though. We, we had our fun with the knife. It's retired. <laughs> Alright, back outside. And, you know, <laughs> there's a little inscription here telling you a little riddle of sorts, like, oh, the sun is in the west or whatever, and the stars above, blah blah blah. But as soon as we use them, they automatically go to the right spot. There's no arranging them, there's no real puzzle. We just unlock the door. Go ahead, Chris. Still have the howling and the crickets going on out here. This room here was as far as I made it in my blind playthrough and the old Jockey channel, so I didn't make it too far. I mean, granted, I also only did, what, six videos on it or so? And we're, we're currently on part four. Uh, oh, hey, we'll check, check out this crank we can <laughs> we can grab here. Do a little staircase puzzle. I think that's all that's in this room, is that crank. Yeah. Anything in these barrels? No, just old barrel. Okay, yeah. Check out these double doors. Oh. Here, crickets once more. Oh, uh, there's dogs. I definitely hear dogs. I'm gonna take this chance while I have inventory space to do some herb mixing, get myself a, a red-green herb. Because red-green herb is about as good as you really will ever need. Go ahead and combine. Yep. Clear up some space. Okay. Let's carefully and quietly walk over here. 
Hi. Hi. Pardon me, Mr. Dog. I'm just gonna walk on by. There's blue herbs over there. We haven't had those yet, but that's the poison curing one. Pardon me, Mr. Doggy. <laughs> Don't mind me as we just walk along to this gate. Chris, open the gate. I was hitting the button so many times. Check out this fence gate. Ooh, and the sound it makes. Listen to that. Yeah, nice. Here we have this bridge. There's water blocking the way, so we can't progress normally. Hey, why don't we use that crank we just picked up just now? <laughs> we gotta use it here. Here we go. There you go, Chris. Nice. Oh, we got an FMV cutscene. These are few and far between, but I love when they happen on PlayStation 1 games. Something about it's so surreal and so, I don't know, immersive. I, don't, <laughs> I know it doesn't look great by today's standards, but it always engrosses me in PlayStation 1 games. Water's running down the opposite side. We've cleared the way. Go ahead, Chris. Now we can climb up here. And as we run along... Ooh! Ew! Well, there's snakes. So those guys can poison you, which is why they introduced blue herbs in the previous room. Most of the time I just run past them. It's not worth wasting ammo on them. <laughs> just ignore them. We're on this lift here. There we are. Uh... Uh-oh. More dogs. Uh, part of me wants to kill these ones to clear this room out. Because there's, I think, three of them in here. Hello? Oh, hello. So yeah, by the way, down this bit, this is where the water's running down to, to clear out that bridge. And there's something back there. Chris will say, there's something in the back. We can't get to it because of the water rushing down. So it's a kind of... what? What is that scenario called? We can't get here without making the water rush. And we can't get through because the water's rushing, that sort of thing. Uh, uh, the, th the thing I always think of is the chicken the chicken feed and the fox, where you get them, gotta get them all across, right? But we can't do anything with that puzzle just yet. I'm just gonna calmly walk around. Pardon me, Mr. Doggies. Pardon me, Mr. Dog. Oh, he didn't like that. He didn't like that at all. Ow! Boom. Boom! Got him two- got two and one. Hell yeah. Bam! Oh, why do I gotta cock the damn gun? Okay, I got one of them. I'm still in fine health. Bam! Oh, did I go all of them? Hell yeah, look at that field cleared. Let's go, Chris. Alright, that was all of them here. We got another elevator here, only this one doesn't work because the battery's been pulled out. Hmm. Suspicious! <laughs> well, we can go over this way, at least. Another one of these gate doors we got here. Uh, oh, we got green herbs and blue herbs. Uh, let's... Hi. Stay back. Stay back. I said stay back! I'm sorry, doggy. I shouldn't be using all this shotgun ammo. Let's take and immediately use one of these green herbs. And then let's grab one of these blue herbs. You know, combining blue herbs with green herbs is okay. Usually I just want to use a blue herb to cure poison. And like, if I happen to be hurt as well... I don't know. Oh, you know what? Fine, yeah. Let's combine it with this green herb here. There's really no harm in that. It takes up just as much inventory space, and takes two seconds to combine. So sure, mix those herbs. And I could mix blue herbs with this as well. There's not really any reason to. I might as well. Combine with that, we mix the herbs. And we get mixed herbs. These are the supreme mixed herbs. Look at that. We got these golden mounds. You know, I've never analyzed these items like this. This is weird. Well, yeah. I don't know why they lose their color. Oh, I hear the dog. The dog is mad. Oh god, there's two of them! Go, Chris, go! Go, Chris, go! Run! It's just a straightaway to the door! Hurry! 